Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got a continuation of the severe weather threat in the United States. Two top stories today in the journals, one specific and one broad and more general. But yesterday morning, the title of the show was Solar Uptick Coming, and it's already begun. Incoming active region releasing solar flares, plasma filaments erupting. Two of those relevant on the Earth-facing half of the sun over the last day, while the massive coronal hole continues turning on the south. Solar wind remains amplified, but stabilized, so let's peek at those two events. The filament on the north that erupted in the overnight hours, shooting northward away from our planet. Then, just a couple hours ago, the incoming sunspot top left flashed in 94 angstroms of light showing X-ray emission. Complex sunspot coming into view here. The flare hit M3, and I am expecting some more of that as it turns in here this next week. We're going to the wind maps next, folks. I'm praying for those impacted by the tornadoes so far, but it is not over. Converging air masses, wet, dry, warm, cooler, differing electric potential. And when the convective atmospheric potential energy forecast is viewed, your heart should hit your feet. Center of the United States under a bullseye tonight. Eyes open everyone in this area. Pay attention to your local alerts. While the geosynchronous satellites will track those storms, it's the ones that orbit lower that give us most of the detailed data from Earth over time. This is NASA's Earth Observing Fleet, and the animation is provided by the Goddard Scientific Visualization Studio and is linked below. Top stories begin here. Scientists getting the guts to go hard on solar forcing now, going well beyond the atmospheric forcing to its impact on the crust. The lithospheric impact is how the sun fries our technology and triggers seismic action, and of course, if it does that, it works the water vapor in the air as well, but shh, don't tell about half the world right now. The other top share this morning is a key chapter in a new college textbook. Their space weather focus hits everything from climatological impacts to human biological impacts, and that's fantastic. But sadly, this book called The Magnetic Solar System does not discuss the clear and present evidence of a magnetic shift throughout our entire solar system happening right now. Kicking the table as I read it, actually, but oh well, my next book is just weeks away and I don't skip anything. Folks, come out to Observer Ranch. We've got major events ongoing all the time and smaller ones. Pick your day, come out and see us. Bring the kids. We're a tier one family place with lots to do as well. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.